Hi, my name is Laura Kohlmeyer, and I decided to look at the school counselor um, professional standards and competencies of 2019 um, from the American School Counselor Association. One thing that I noticed um, were the several references to assessment. So the first um, really refers to uh, the assessment of the overall school counseling program. Uh, second, it refers to identifying areas where there may be gaps in student abilities and outcomes. And third, it discusses gathering assessment data on student needs, not just from teachers, staff, and admin, uh, but also from families to really help students be successful. One thing to take note of with school counseling is that a large part of the assessment is really looking at academic achievement, um, school attendance, school disciplinary issues, equal opportunity for students, and the availability of resources. So the results from these assessments really guide the counseling process in that it identifies the areas of student struggles. By assessing those struggles, school counselors can move forward with the types of assessments um, like personality assessments, aptitude tests, uh, career tests that um, really look at their individual success outcome and then also kind of determines what types of personal counseling interventions those students might need just based on past trauma, uh, stress, anxiety, um, and even immediate crisis. So school counselors use assessment data to really develop the schools for student outcomes. And then from those designed outcomes, a specific plan is designed for how the school counseling program can really be the most effective for the students. So it includes specific resources for students, uh, evidence-based activities and programs designed for students, and then really assesses how those um, evidence-based uh, programs and activities are helping the students be successful. A really important thing to note about student counseling is that um, uh, developing long-term um, counseling is um, unethical and is not really the design of the student counseling program and uh, also making diagnoses is not a part of um, the student counseling so both of those things would be really unethical to try to um, to try to achieve within a school counseling session one thing that surprised me about school counseling that um, probably shouldn't have but it did was um, just how dependent the counseling process is on the data that's gathered regarding student achievement um, discipline attendance opportunity um, and so without that data it would really be impossible to develop an appropriate and effective school counseling program um, when I first think about school counseling, I think about um, counselors sitting down in their office with students, building rapport, uh, maybe doing some independent uh, individual assessments to get an idea of where the students are at emotionally. Um, but as I'm reading further, I'm noticing that in the counseling arena, it's not really about that as much. Um, that There are a lot more assessment factors that need to be examined other than just the student's emotional needs. Thank you for listening and I look forward to your replies.